Hi, I'm Gemma, one of the speech and language therapists from Communicate, and today I'm going to be talking you through this week's chat challenge, which is all about water. So starting with preschool children, water play is a really great opportunity to model language. I've got a water table here, but you could just as easily do this at bath time. You might want to start with really simple words, such as boat or fish. And then you could move on to more advanced words, such as action words like pouring and concepts such as empty or full. If you want to focus on instructions, you can get a washing up bowl and put some animals in there. And you can start off with a simple instruction, such as wash the zebra, wash the tiger. And once they're able to do that easily, you could start thinking about different body parts, like wash the giraffe's leg. So for children in their first years of primary school, one of the really important areas of their language development is vocabulary. One way that we can focus on this is through different category games. So for example, you get two buckets of water or two saucepans like I've got here and attach a picture of two different categories to the front. Then you can say an item from one of the categories such as banana and see if your child can throw a ball or a water balloon into the correct one. Another really important aspect of their language development at this age is their narrative skills. So at bath time you can use any toys that you've got and see if they can make up a story about them. You could use a whale or some pirates and see if they can include all of the key areas of the story such as who's in the story, where they're going and what might happen next. So as children get older the social side of their communication gets even more important. It's really important for them to develop their verbal reasoning skills and negotiation skills so that they can explain themselves both in the classroom and in the playground. One really fun way to do this at home is to set up different games and to negotiate to both the rules and the scoring system. So I've got some skittles here, but you could equally use old plastic cups or bottles. And remember to use your because phrases when you're discussing the rules and the scoring. For example, I think this one should be worth 10 points because it's closer. As children enter secondary school, we can focus on important skills such as giving clear instructions. There are lots of different YouTube videos showing different water experiments. Get a friend or a sibling and see if you can give them clear instructions on how to carry out the experiment without having seen it themselves. Another really important aspect of communication is planning and prediction skills. See if you can make a water park for Lego people and predict if things will float or not. Let's see if this poster can hold Homer up. No. So hopefully that's given you some ideas of how to use water at home to develop your child's communication skills and have fun too.